Mm, yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So if you haven't noticed, we got new hair. Mm -hmm. Don't have a drink for Cheers Happy Tipsy Tuesday. Cause... Cheers Happy Tipsy Tuesday. We had a photo shoot all day, so we couldn't drink. I'm or we would be looking busted. Yeah. Oh my god, I would look so tired. We wanted to do um, a new segment that we're starting called... Tipsy Talk. Tipsy Talk. It's tipsy Talk. It's like story time. Yeah. But it's, it's our like... version. Because... Things happen to us. Something just happened right now, but oh that's God. not what the story it's is about. <laughs> but let's just say I feel like throwing the fuck off. I have a really funny story for you. He doesn't know the story. Yeah. So over a week ago, I had a doctor's appointment. Um, just with a regular doctor. She's not my personal doctor, but uh, just another female doctor because I had to have my like annual or couple year um, like female exam. And you know, gotta make sure everything's okay, in tip top shape. Um, so, any girl knows this when you go to like the gynecologist or a doctor and that's what you're there for, they're gonna ask you about your sex life, obviously. Um, mine's really not that exciting, so cool. It turns into like, like almost like a therapy session because they're like, well what's your situation? And then you have to go into, well, I'm seeing someone, but he's not my boyfriend. Um, well, are you guys monogamous? Um, well, I haven't had that talk with him yet. So it's just like you get in your brain of like where your current relationship status is. So when's your next one so I can go with you? <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, you're just in this gown and like there's, you're just, you're ready to just like get it over with. And they're just like, okay, so you don't have a boyfriend. And you're like, no, I don't have a boyfriend. So, but the person you're sleeping with, you're not monogamous with. No. Was he sleeping with someone else? I don't know. I haven't asked him. I can text him. <laughs> yeah, like, ugh. Come prepared with these questions answered, apparently. Apparently have your relationship status confirmed before you go to the doctor. Wait, I have this lady who is so above and beyond, like, ah, in your face. Not my normal doctor. My normal doctor and I have, like, an understanding, she gets it, she doesn't judge me, but she'll like tell you. So, uh, I explained to her like my current situation and being I don't have a boyfriend, also I do not hoe it up around town, I have not been like that or anything. So, uh, she says, you know, like, well what forms of protection do you use, like condoms and, and whatever, and I'm like yes and no. Like, yeah we have, maybe we haven't, like, too. So then, she says, I'm sitting at the end of like the the bed or whatever the heck's in the uh, doctor's office and I'm in a gown and the stirrups are like right there and everyone knows what those stirrups are for. You like have to put your feet in them and it's just so uncomfortable. I and thought that was just for like birth. You no, have to do that. Because they have to like check everything up there. It's so uncomfortable. It's so uncomfortable. We're not going into details. But so anyway, she realizes that I'm single and just Ready to mingle. says to me, she's like, so, how many drinks do you have? And I was like, what, like, per day, per week, or whatever, and she's like, um, like, if you go out, like, how, how much would you drink? And I was like, I don't know, like, anywhere from one to three drinks, like, four would be, like, a maximum cap, because then I would just be, like, pretty drunk. Uh, so, then, she says, so you... You know, like, as a female, our bodies, like, break down alcohol a little differently than men, and it takes us, like, a little longer, and I was like, yeah, like, I know I don't weigh a lot, like, it doesn't take much for me to get, like, a, a good buzz. And she goes, okay, well, maybe if you have, like, three drinks now, like, why don't you maybe have, like, one or two so that you remember to tell him to wear a condom? That happened. That happened. She slut-shamed me. Like, in a sense, slut-shamed me. Like, attitude, and then was like, okay, put your feet up. And I was like, I just went, yeah, you're probably right. Little do you know that maybe I make those decisions when I'm completely sober. Maybe if you had like one or two drinks, then um, you'd be able to wear protection. No, it was, <laughs> it was more like she was at the foot of me. Saying this. Well, we can't be. There. Yeah. <laughs> like talking to your vagina. Yeah. Well, maybe if you Basically. didn't drink so much, like you could wear a condom. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> Ladies, sometimes I do that when I'm not drunk. So I make bad decisions regardless. I would be like, um, can you stop talking to my vagina and just like check it out, please? Like, I was just like, oh, 
she did not. I was like, this bitch. She Is was she just, gonna... she was a character. I was like, I'm never going to her again. I will make sure that my doctor is available, but... So next time you go, I'm going with you. Yeah, well, I'm not going with this lady. She was, uh, she was so much. So, my words of advice would be, don't let your doctor slut shame you, number one. If I want to make those bad decisions, you're here to fix them. <laughs> like, you're here to just check on me. That's all I'm here for. I don't need a lecture. I am a grown woman. My God. Two of these. I mean, I'd be drunk. It's and the same thing as one of these. I mean, I'm just saying. Yeah, like, that's a whole bottle. <laughs> I mean, I get it, but like, chill out, lady. No. When a gynecologist says you should only have one drink. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm so glad that guys don't have to do that shit. Like, we get it. I know you're looking out for my best interest. I know that you're, uh... But we didn't ask for it. Right. <laughs> and didn't ask for your attitude. It's like, yeah. I'm feeling uncomfortable, and I wasn't even there. I was so uncomfortable, and I was like, half tired, too. And I was like, I just, can you just not... Yeah, and then she was like, um, do you want to get, like, a blood test done for, like, AIDS or whatever? And I was like, I mean, probably? And she was like, mm, since you haven't used a condom, like, yeah. Clicks yes. I was like, oh my. It's like, makes you feel really bad because you're like, like, what if he is with other people and whatever? And you're like, I just try not to think about that. And then you're like, but, damn. So, moral of the story, I guess just wrap it up so you don't have to explain to your gynecologist. Or, you know, just be in a relationship and be monogamous. Like, how do you know he's not cheating on you and yeah. not using condom? Yeah, I'm in a monogamous relationship. That don't mean that everybody's safe. Yeah. Just saying. Practice safe sex, kids. That's yeah. the moral of this message. Practice safe sex. So you've got to explain to your gynecologist and then get slut-shamed by her. Yeah. Even though I do absolutely nothing and I've been with, like, one person. Or just say that you do and you just avoid the whole problem. What? That you... Just say that you wear condoms. I know. Do you wear condoms? Yeah. Yeah. Just lie, too. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Something so comes back, I didn't know. I'm so in love with five people. Yeah. It's so fine. No, they yeah, all I'm condoms. monogamous with five people. Sometimes they share condoms. It's yeah. just, I mean, it's whatever. You know, go green. We're in California. Like, that's the shit I would do. <laughs> What'd she good. look like? Yeah. But which I was like, five. Be like, why don't you, why don't we change places? Why don't you get on this table and let me tell you about your life in there's, vagina? There's so much. Maybe if that? you had one or two drinks, you would remember to wear a condom. It's, it's like, I didn't say that I life. forgot. <laughs> I just said that I don't choose to. <laughs> exactly. I have a choice. I chose not to put a condom on. I didn't forget. You know what? Like, whatever. I'll just drink what some bleach. What if that was <laughs> your, what was that, that was your response? Well, you know, I just, why didn't you wear a condom? Lazy. I just, you <laughs> know, like have you ever been in the moment? Oh, you probably haven't been in the moment. <laughs> Thank you for watching this tipsy talk. Tipsy time. talk, yes. Although we're not tipsy right now, but mentally we are because we are so exhausted. Yep, you said it. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure you share it. Share all the content that we put out because you know we getting lit. And also, memo of the day. If you can't swipe right on yourself, <laughs> how the hell are you gonna swipe right on everybody else? Can I get an amen? <laughs> so you can hit the notification bell and get notified. Yes, no hit that five. notification button. Follow yeah. us on our social media accounts. Yes, link is down in the description somewhere. below. Um, yeah. We're always on Snapchat, Instagram story, Facebook story. I'm only on Instagram. Twitter. I literally don't use anything. She else. doesn't do anything. She won't even text you back, so it doesn't even matter. No, I don't even know where my phone is right now. But thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you. Let us know about Tipsy Talk.